Next, we will delve into another critical safety control, lockout, tagout, lotto. This essential procedure ensures the safe isolation of energy sources during maintenance and repair tasks, protecting workers from hazardous energy releases. Let's explore how lotto works, why it's vital, and the steps to implement it effectively. Lockout, tagout, commonly referred to as lotto, is a critical safety procedure implemented to protect workers during the maintenance, repair, or servicing of machinery and equipment. This procedure ensures that machines are not only properly shut off, but also remain in a de-energized state, incapable of being restarted or reactivated until all work is safely completed. Lotto safeguards against the accidental or unexpected release of hazardous energy, such as electrical, mechanical, hydraulic, pneumatic, chemical, or thermal energy, which could result in severe injuries or even fatalities. By using standardized locks, tags, and other physical barriers, the lotto process isolates energy sources and provides clear visual warnings to prevent unauthorized access or tampering. It is a critical control that must be implemented, particularly in industries with high-risk machinery, and is governed by strict regulations to ensure compliance and protect workers from potentially life-threatening hazards. Lockout, tagout, lotto, is a critical safety control that protects workers by ensuring that dangerous energy sources are effectively isolated and rendered inoperable until the task is complete. Lotto is critical for safeguarding workers from a wide range of hazardous energy sources, including electricity, moving mechanical parts, hydraulic or pneumatic systems, stored thermal energy, and even chemical reactions. Without proper implementation of Lotto, these energy sources can unexpectedly activate or release, causing severe injuries such as burns, electrocution, crushing, or amputation. Beyond its role in injury prevention, Lotto is a life-saving control that also serves to 1. Mitigate workplace risks By reducing the chances of unexpected energy release, Lotto creates a safer environment for workers performing high-risk tasks. Two. Enhance compliance and accountability. Adherence to lotto standards ensures compliance with workplace safety regulations, such as those outlined by governing bodies, and fosters a culture of accountability. 3. Promote awareness and training. The implementation of lotto emphasizes the importance of training workers to recognize and control hazardous energy sources, empowering them to protect themselves and their colleagues. Four. Reduce potential for incidents and associated costs. By preventing injuries, Lotto reduces the financial impact of workplace incidents, including medical expenses, legal fees, and lost productivity. Lotto doesn't just protect individual workers. It's a key to the overall operational safety. Properly implemented, it reinforces a commitment to worker well-being. When should lockout, tagout be used? Lotto must be employed whenever servicing, maintenance, or any other work is performed on machinery or equipment where there is a potential risk of unexpected startup or the release of hazardous stored energy. Proper application of Lotto ensures that workers are protected from injuries caused by the sudden activation of machines or unintended energy discharges. Common scenarios where Lotto is necessary include, but are not limited to, maintenance or repair work. Performing routine or emergency repairs on mechanical, electrical, hydraulic, or pneumatic systems. Adjusting machine components that could inadvertently shift or activate. Cleaning or lubrication of machinery. Conducting cleaning or maintenance tasks on parts of the machinery that could move unexpectedly if not properly isolated. Accessing areas where energy release poses a safety risk during cleaning operations. Replacing machine parts. Replacing worn or damaged components such as belts, gears, or electrical wiring that require machinery to be fully de-energized. Removing or installing parts that could trigger unintentional energy release. Inspection and testing. 
inspecting systems for functionality where energy activation could lead to hazards. Testing or troubleshooting machinery where it is critical to isolate energy during the process. Servicing equipment with stored energy. Handling systems with residual energy, such as pressurized hydraulic lines, compressed springs, or equipment retaining electrical charge, which require controlled energy release. Using LATO in these and similar scenarios ensures that all energy sources, whether electrical, mechanical, hydraulic, pneumatic, thermal, or chemical, are securely isolated, preventing accidental activation or discharge. Proper application of LATO is a critical step in creating a safe working environment and protecting workers from serious injury or fatality. The lockout tagout process is important and requires diligence. It follows a series of essential steps. Step 1. Preparation. Identify types of energy and where these energies could release. Communicate to those around you if applicable. Step 2. Shutdown. Power down the equipment using standard procedures. Step 3. Isolation. Disconnect the machine from all energy sources. Step 4. Lockout tagout. Securely apply locks or tags to the energy isolating devices. This ensures the machine cannot be operated. Also, communicating to all nearby workers that this equipment has been locked out for maintenance. Step 5. Release of stored energy. Safely release any residual or stored energy within the system. Step 6. Verification. Attempt to restart the machine to confirm it is fully locked out. This critical step ensures no energy remains active. Step 7. After the work is complete, communicate to other workers in the area that you will be removing your locks. Then, remove the locks or tags, inspect the equipment, and restore energy in a safe manner. The importance of training in lockout tagout, lotto. Training is a critical component of an effective lockout tagout program. It ensures workers understand hazardous energy risks and how to properly execute lotto procedures, empowering them to protect themselves and their colleagues. Key aspects of lotto training include understanding hazardous energy. Employees must recognize energy sources, electrical, mechanical, hydraulic, and others that pose risks during maintenance or servicing. Lotto procedures. Workers should be trained on each step, from shutting down equipment to isolating energy, applying locks and tags, verifying isolation, and safely restarting machinery. Roles and Responsibilities Authorized Employees Perform lotto and verify isolation. Affected Employees Understand lotto's purpose and avoid interfering. Other Personnel Stay aware of lotto policies, emergency protocols. Training must cover managing failed locks, unexpected situations, and emergency responses. Practical Training Hands-on sessions ensure workers are confident and prepared to apply lotto safely in real scenarios. Regular refresher courses reinforce procedures, address new risks, and ensure compliance with safety standards. Proper training reduces incidents, fosters a safety-focused culture, and equips employees to handle hazardous energy with confidence. By adhering to these principles, workers not only ensure their own safety, but also contribute to creating a safer and more secure workplace for everyone. Proper implementation of lockout-tagout procedures minimizes the risk of incidents, injuries, and fatalities, demonstrating a collective responsibility to protect lives. It's important to remember that LATO is not merely a procedural checklist. It represents a commitment to prioritizing human life and fostering a culture of safety. Every lock applied, every tag placed, and every step followed reflects a dedication to preventing harm and ensuring that every worker goes home safely at the end of the day. This commitment extends beyond compliance. It is a mindset that underscores the importance of vigilance, teamwork, and proactive safety measures in all aspects of operations. Lotto is a shared promise to uphold the highest safety standards and to value the well-being of every individual on the job.